It was winter. A thick blanket of snow lay over the island of Sodor. All the engines were busy carrying passengers and goods from station to station. Sometimes they need to warn people they are coming. So steam engines blow their whistles. And diesel engines sound their electric horns. One day, Percy took some trucks to the smelter's yard. He whistled hello to Harry and Bert. But Harry and Bert laughed. Caught out a whistle, chortled Bert. Just listen to this. Diesels can do everything better than steamies, they sneered. My whistle's as good as your horns, puffed Percy crossly. Just you wait and see. Percy practised loud whistling. He blew louder and louder and louder. At last he was ready to surprise Harry and Bert. Later, Percy went back to the quarry. He rolled up behind Harry and Bert, took an extra big puff and blew as loudly as he could. Harry and Bert were surprised. I told you my whistle is as good as your silly old honky horns, laughed Percy. Now that he had a super loud whistle, Percy couldn't wait to use it again. When he saw Thomas in the sidings, he took a big puff and blew as loud as he could. Thomas was cross. That wasn't funny, he sniffed. But Percy didn't notice. He was too busy having fun. Percy saw Percy the bus. He took another big puff and blew. Bertie skidded all over the road. Percy, he cried crossly. He had nearly caused an accident, but Percy had already chuffed away. That evening, Thomas told Percy to stop surprising his friends. You made Bertie skid across the road and my trucks got damaged, said Thomas. Percy was sorry. I won't do it again, he waved. I promise. 